Today I have a really, really cool video for you guys and I'm very excited to show you because I'm going to be showcasing my $1,500 collection of collection boxes. That's right, I've been accumulating a load of boxes over the years and I thought, you know what, I've been moving some stuff in my storage place where I keep all my cool stuff and I thought, let me bring them out, do a video on them and then show you guys. So if you do enjoy this video, do hit that thumbs up and if you are new, be sure to subscribe and join the Charizard gang. But welcome back to my channel guys, hope you are doing well. I haven't uploaded in the last couple of days which I apologize for. I, like I said recently, it's really hard to get our hands on Pokemon stuff and I've pre-ordered loads of stuff and it just hasn't arrived yet. So I haven't been able to do any uh, videos which is really frustrating because I've been itching to get some video outs for you guys. But um, hopefully I can continue uh, with the grind and we can get some more videos out as soon as possible. But today, like I mentioned, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, some of the collection boxes. I've done actually a part one of this. So if you haven't checked that out, be sure to do so. I'll leave a link in the description. I'll try and remember. But be sure to just check my channel. It's uh, my collection box collection. And uh, this is the part two of it. This is the more expensive end of the collection boxes I have. The cooler boxes as well. So I'm very happy to show you guys. So let's just jump straight into it. So the first box is this one and only Detective Pikachu Charizard GX uh, case. I think it's called. It's called the, the case file. That's what it is. It says right there. I'm going to switch between uh, views for you guys so you can get different angles. But here it is right in front of you. Uh, this is the uh, promo box from the Detective Pikachu film, which came out not too long ago. A couple of years, actually, um, which is actually a really good film. So if you haven't watched it, I definitely recommend you go check it out. Hoping there's going to be a, a number two or something. But... This box um, was actually getting harder and harder to get our hands on as it was uh, the years were going on. And I thought I saw this uh, on sale at a, I can't remember where I bought it from, but I bought it for like 30 pounds. It was between 20 or 30 pounds. And I thought, you know, let me snatch this up because uh, I feel like Detective Pikachu is a really, really cool film. And it's just something cool to keep as like memorabilia to that film. So inside here, you get a foil promo card, which is the Jumbo Charizard, as you can see right there. You get a um, Charizard GX as well, which is the normal size. So it's the only way to get that uh, Charizard GX card. You get four uh, TCG Detective Pikachu booster packs and two additional Pokemon TCG uh, booster packs, which I can't remember, which is actually or what the packs are inside because I obviously can't open this because it's sealed. Um, but you do get this Charizard GX in a normal card, which is really cool. It's like the lifelike uh, or the life lookalike of a Charizard if it was in real life which is really cool. So I thought, you know what, let me snatch this up. Let me keep it. And uh, I think this is something really cool to keep hold of. I think at the moment, this goes for a round, I think, £60. I think I, I worked out. I, I've been looking at the prices uh, just so you guys can get like a, a general feel of how much the boxes are going up because I know a lot of you guys kind of like that sort of stuff. So uh, yeah, I bought this for around £20 to £30 and it's now double the price. So pretty cool in a couple of years that this has gone up like double. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if this does go up in the future. But more importantly, I just like this because it's a bit of memorabilia towards the Detective Pikachu film, which is a film I really, really enjoyed. And like I said, I hope they do another one. So yeah, that is the first box. Let me get the second one. So up next is this humongous box right here, which is Dragon Majesty uh, Legends of Unova GX collection. Now this is um, a really cool, interesting box, to be fair, which I'm going to get the other view for you guys to see. Actually, let me get my head out of the way so you can see it in full because it's such a big box. Now, this is actually a, um, a holiday set which came out before Shining Legends, which is uh, like a couple years ago now. It went, it went Dragon Majesty, Shining Legends, Hidden Fates, and now we have Shining Fates, uh, which I believe that is the right order. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I could have made a mistake there, but that's what I believe. Um, so you get up here. In this box, you get this jumbo card here, which is a Reshiram, Zekrom, and uh, Kyurem. I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, which has a 500 HP. I don't know if you can see up there, which is ridiculous. Uh, I don't actually think you could use this card, but it does a move called Be Legendary. It says Reshiram, Zekrom, and Kyurem embark on a legendary adventure, and it does 100 damage. No, it does 1,000 damage, sorry. So I'm pretty sure this card can't be played, <laughs> which would be a very OP card if it could. Uh, but yeah, inside here, you get five Dragon Majesty packs. Uh, we have one with a Charizard artwork, which is really cool. I might keep that sealed, which looks really sick. And you get a Zekrom GX and a Reshiram GX card, which look really cool as well. Um, but the reason I kept this is because it was a holiday set. Um, this is sealed as well. It's actually cost me like £70, I think. Very expensive. I think the price when this first came out probably would have been around £30. So I'm, I'm paying. I, I bought this recently and um, I had to pay like double the price for it and i think it goes for around 80 now so it's gone up a tiny bit but it's still around that sort of price um but the reason i bought this is because it is a holiday set and it was one of the first i believe um actually it wasn't one of the first i think generations was um 
correct me if I'm wrong, I need to do a bit more research on the holiday sets, but this is a holiday set and it came out before um, Shining Legends. So I thought, you know what, this is going to always be a really cool set to open. It's one of the holiday sets. A lot of people enjoy opening these and you can get some really cool cards in here. So that is the reason I've kept this box. I think it's really, really cool. Um, so let's move on to the next one. And up next, we have the one and only Blastoise EX uh, Red and Blue Collection Box. Now this, as you can see right here, oh no, this side even, as you see right here is the 20th year anniversary box. I'm going to switch the angle again so you can get a good look at it. Um, but this is a 20th year anniversary box. The logo is right here. We are now in the 25th year anniversary um so if you know this box actually came out five years ago and this is when i started collecting pokemon cards again this box right here is one of the first first collection boxes i bought when uh coming back into the pokemon uh scene and i really really like it um i actually have the venusaur if you saw part one i showcased that in that video uh, this is the blastoise and there is a charizard and there's also a pikachu to represent each pack artwork as you can see we've got the pikachu uh blastoise charizard and venusaur but this box comes with four uh generation packs which is another holiday set this came out in 2016 um and this came alongside evolutions and you get a Radiant collection in here as well. So there's some really, really cool cards in here. It's like a subset in, the, in sort of like Hidden Fates and Shiny Fates. How you have the Shiny Vault. The Radiant collection was the subset in uh, the Generation set. But here you have a Blastoise Jumbo card as well as the promo card right there. Which I think this artwork looks sick. You've got a Vaporeon and a Gyarados in the background. As well as other stuff which just looks really, really cool. And I really want to collect um, all of these. I have... Uh, some of them which we'll see in a minute, but there is one more I really want to collect which I don't have and uh, the price of these are going up and up and up and at the moment Generation packs are ridiculously expensive. They're, they're going up uh, compared to what they were not too long ago. It's it's crazy But yeah, so this is another generations box um, I want to keep this because it just represents the 20th year anniversary Which is the year I got back into collecting Pokemon like pretty seriously um so yeah, I think it's a really, really cool box. And uh, it's just like Blastoise is an OG. You've got the art Blastoise artwork on the back, the, the 20th year anniversary logo. I think this is just a really cool thing to collect. And I hope that Pokemon do something for this year. As we know, there is a set coming in October. Um, and hopefully we can get some cool stuff like this because uh, I'll definitely be looking to get it and hold on to it as well. Just to kind of remember the year, man. Like this was, like I said, this is the year I came back into it. And uh, I just, I, it just gives me that kind of memory of like how I got back into it. So yeah, that is the next box and we can move on to the next one now. So before we do get into the next box, um, also I just want to say with that Blastoise box, that cost me around 30 pounds. And I think at the moment is going for around 150. So the price in five years has gone up like five times, which is ridiculous. Um, but the next box is this one and only uh, Reshiram and Charizard figure collection tag team uh, GX box. Now this box is really cool. And this actually came out not too long ago. Um, I think it came out in the last three years, I want to say. Um, but let me change the angle for you guys. So in here, we get a really cool Charizard and Reshiram uh, figure, which looks sick. You get a jumbo, if we open this up right here, we get a jumbo uh, card right here of Charizard and Reshiram. But not only that, we get a Charizard and Reshiram uh, promo card right there. Which is a really OP card. If I think it might be slowly coming out of rotation soon. Um, but this card has been a real mainstay in the TCG. Uh, if you play it, it's a very powerful card. But not only do, uh, do we get those, we get these awesome packs inside. We get two Unified Minds. We get a Cosmic Eclipse. And we get a XY pack, which is either going to be Breakpoint or Breakthrough. Can't tell because it's hidden. But just some really cool packs. As we know, Cosmic Eclipse is not getting reprinted for a long time. Or they haven't said if they're going to do it again. But at the moment, they're not doing it. And then we also get two Unified Mind packs, which contain potentially the Mewtwo and Mew uh, GX tag team card, which is a beautiful, beautiful card. And uh, yeah, this box is really cool. As you guys know, massive Charizard fan. Charizard's my guy. Had to pick this up because of this boy. And uh, yeah, really happy. This cost me around £24, I believe. And at the moment, I've written it down, it goes for £80. So this has gone up a lot. Came out in the last two to three years. So um, yeah, huge, really cool box. And uh, I just love everything inside. You've got the figure, you've got the promo card, the jumbo. And then not only that, you get some awesome packs inside. And that is the best thing about these uh, collection boxes. It's just there's, there's so much cool stuff jam-packed. And uh, yeah, so this is now £80. So if you do want to get your hands on it, it's still a good time to pick it up. Because I have a feeling that this is probably just going to go up and up and up in the years. Um, so yeah, if you want to try and get it, that's what it's called. It's called the Reshiram and Charizard GX Figure Collection. 
And uh, that is another box that I have kept sealed and I'm going to keep sealed for a long time. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, four packs or four boxes left. And the next one is this Charizard EX box right here. This came out, I believe, in... 2016 so this is five years old around the time of uh, the 20th year anniversary and uh, this is just another box kind of like the other one uh, I just showed you with the rest ram it's a Charizard box I want to collect everything Charizard because with a Charizard gang I've just mentioned Charizard is my favorite Pokemon um, and this box is really cool you get a Charizard EX card as well as the jumbo card right here as you can see in the background and then not only that we get some really cool packs in here we get a Sun and Moon base we get Fates Collide from X and Y we get a Primal Clash from X and Y, and then you can see it right there. We get the Charizard artwork of the Evolutions pack right there. So this is a really cool collection box. Um, this cost me, I think, like 20 to 25 pounds at the time, like $20. Um, right now, I'm checking because I put the prices down. This box goes for around 75 pounds. So it's gone up quite a bit in the last five years. But still, I think this is just a really cool box. I have this actually in my background right here. Actually, let me go full screen. So it's usually in that hole right there behind the Charmander and Charizard. Um, so I've taken it out. And yeah, it's just really cool. Something I like to have in the backdrop. I think it's just a really cool box. You've got the Charizard at the front, in the back, on the artwork of the box as well. I always keep getting my fingers the other way around. He's right there. And then uh, we get the cool packs as well. So this box has gone up quite a bit, but it's not all about the money. I just really like this. And it's one of my favorite things to display. I think it just looks sick, like I said. So let's move on to the next box. And uh, we have three left. So let's look at the top three. Okay, so in the third spot of my collection or $1,500 collection of collection boxes, I have this one and only Charizard EX Red and Blue collection box. This is exactly like the Blastoise one. Um, as I mentioned, there are four of them to represent e each artwork. And the one I'm missing is the Pikachu one right here. Um, but I do manage to have the Charizard one. And this one is an unbelievably cool looking collection box. Uh, this is Generations. Like I mentioned, it's got the 20th year anniversary logo right there. Uh, you get the packs right here. We got the Charizard. We have the Blastoise. We have the Pikachu and the Venusaur. And then not only that, we get this cool Charizard EX promo card as well as the Jumbo in the background where we have mag uh, we have a Flareon and a Magma in the background as well, which just looks sick. Now, this box out of all four of them, I believe is the most expensive one, um, obviously because it's Charizard. Um, and I think I paid, I think I paid like 35 pounds for this one. And this goes for now, it goes for 210 pounds, uh, roughly between between 200 pounds and a little bit higher or a little bit lower, it's just around that mark. So this one has gone up the most out of all of them. But there's a, the reason is because of this Charizard card right here. Um, I think that anything Charizard, as you guys know, it goes for a little bit more, has a bit more of a premium because it's one of the best Pokemon. Uh, but like I mentioned, the reason I got these is because I actually want to collect all four of them. I have the Venusaur, I have the Blastoise, I have the Charizard. I'm just missing the Pikachu, unfortunately. So never know. Maybe in the future, I might be able to collect that and uh, add that to my collection and complete my my. 20th year anniversary collection box um but we are one away so that's pretty cool so yeah really love this box i think this charizard promo is just amazing to look at i think it looks really cool and i actually just like having it sealed because it has the pack the card the jumbo card and then all of this artwork as well so i think it just looks really cool so we are moving on to the next two boxes which are the big ones so let's get into it and then there were two okay so in the second to last box of my sealed collection boxes we have the one and only hidden fates premium powers collection box it is so big it is covering my face right now but i'm going to switch over to the other angle for you guys so you can see it because this is an unbelievably cool looking box right here we have so much going on in this box and uh this at the time when this came out so this came out when hidden fates came out in 2019 this k this was going for around 70 pounds i believe i think actually you could get it for 42 pounds and then it sold out instantly. And then when restock came, it, it jumped to um, about £70. So very expensive box. Uh, if you managed to get it early, then you did really well. But inside this box, you get the Jumbo. Let me move my face for you guys. You get the Jumbo Rayquaza, um, shiny Rayquaza as well, which I actually have a PSA 9 of. Um, it's one of my only Hidden Fates uh, PSA cards. And then we also get the uh, La Luna. Uh, GX gold card we have the shiny Rayquaza GX which is the only way to get this card is through this box and then we have the Solgaleo uh, GX gold card as well and then not only that we have one two three four five six seven 
Hidden Fates pack. So inside here, you could potentially get a shiny Charizard as well from Hidden Fates, which is ridiculous. And not only that, I think if I flip this over, you do. You get this poster right here, which has every um, pack artwork in one poster, which is just really cool. You got the shiny Rayquaza over there as well. I think this box just looks absolutely phenomenal. I think it just looks amazing. And I can tell you that the price of this box right now is going between 200 to 300 pounds. Um, so it has jumped up in price astronomically because even though Hidden Fates is getting reprinted, um, this box just doesn't seem to be getting reprinted. Like this only came out once at the very beginning and Pokemon have not released this since. So we haven't seen this box for at least two years. And um, I don't think we're going to see it again. So that is why this price is going up because it is extremely rare to get now. Um, and I'm going to be keeping this for a long time because I think this box just looks amazing. Like, look how cool that looks. You have the two gold cards. You've got the shiny Rayquaza. You've got the Jumbo on the side. And then you've got the seven packs with the shiny Charizard right here. We've got shiny Charizard there. We've got one even here as well. So this box looks really cool because we have so many cool... I think it has actually has four shiny Charizard packs in there. So that just looks sick. And uh, yeah, I'm keeping this box and the price of it has absolutely flown up. But there is a reason for it. And th those are the reasons because it's just so incredibly rare. But let's move on to the last box, the most expensive box and probably one of my favorite boxes that I have. So let's get into it. And then finally, guys, here is the last box, probably the biggest box. I might have to take a step back, um, but it is this one and only Shining Legends Premium Collection or Premium Powers Collection, as you can see at the bottom right there. And this box is just unbelievable let me flip this over and get you a different angle so you can see exactly what's going on i'll move my face cam as well so you can get it in all its glory but as you can see this is a shining legends premium powers collection this came out when shining legends came out which was the set before let me show you my face so you can see me talking uh this was the set before hidden fates so i think this came out in 2018 maybe 17 correct me if i'm wrong i, I want to say 18 but in this box as you can see there's so much stuff absolutely so much stuff going on you have a rainbow rare hollow ho -Oh card or ho -Oh gx you have the normal card right there of the rainbow rare we have a shining celebi which is the only way to get that, that card as well as a shining lugia and everyone knows how popular lugia is i don't know why i said lugia a bit weird there but anyway and we also get a hollow pikachu as well which looks really cool but these two cards are very very popular cards as you can see right here and uh, this is the only way you can get it. And not only that, you get so many packs inside. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think you get eight packs. It will say on the back. Um, here is the back if you guys want to see it. But it says, yeah, you get a full art rainbow promo card of ho -Oh, Two never before seen foil promo cards featuring Shining Lugia and Shining Celebi. And then you also get eight Pokemon TCG Shining Legend booster packs. And uh, you also get a poster featuring all nine of them as well in here, which is really cool. So that must be hidden in the background. But this is a incredible box and everyone wants this box. Um, I think when I paid for this, I paid it for... I actually bought this really late. I bought this during... I think I bought this in the first lockdown of 2020. So I managed to find an absolute steal of these and get them for, I think, £75. Um, and these actually go for 400 pounds right now. So they have gone up so so much in in price purely because of these two cards right here These are the only way you can get these cards this box right here But not only that you get jumbo ho -Oh, you get a rainbow rare ho -Oh, and i'm a big fan of ho -Oh as well So we get two really cool legendaries from the johto or gen 2 and then we have also eight shining legend packs Which could contain some really cool shining legends uh, Pokemon or shining pokemon as well as the test tube mewtwo card Which is going for so much in a psa 10 so yeah this is the most expensive collection box i own i bought it for 75 pounds or just under 100 and uh, it now goes for 400 so it's nearly it's gone over like four or five times the amount it goes for and um I'm, i just want to hold this because it just looks incredible i think that these cards are going to be really popular in the future um and these could even be a psa 10 and if they are they they go for a lot of money so yeah i think it's just really cool uh once again i just want to state that this isn't all about the money uh, i just love collecting stuff i love holding these sealed uh, i am someone who actually has a hard time keeping things sealed but there are some things i just want to keep sealed because i think they just look beautiful and this is like art, like another form of art i think this box just looks really cool and um it's cool to see that i own something that 
in the future could be really really hard to get hold of and it's just really popular and like it's just cool to keep it preserved and just like appreciate it you know but yeah that is going to wrap up this video guys hopefully you have enjoyed it let me know in the comment section out of all the boxes i've shown in today's video which has been your favorite and if you have enjoyed this video please please hit that like button i challenge you guys to hit 100 likes i know you guys can do it and if you are new be sure to subscribe i also have started a shorts channel so if you want to check that out be sure to subscribe i'll leave a link in the description but i'll be back soon with another video have a great rest of your day but until then i am out